you cannot shame the shameless money you've hustled for someone cannot pay you is in a bank sitting somewhere and you're looking and you're saying i can't get access to my money so qatar doesn't want to do business in nigeria a memo that was recently leaked from Asarok and is all over the internet it has some crazy details it contained a document from qatar shelving a business and investment proposal apparently president Sinibu has plans to travel to qatar on the second and third of march and the federal government thought it'd be nice to kill two birds with one stone how about a private sector led meeting on the sidelines of the president's visit to qatar this sounds like a great plan right right yeah makes sense now from the press the nigerian association of chamber of commerce industry mines and agriculture worked and gathered the proposal and they decided to send the memo to the authorities in qatar and it was dated december 22nd 2020. the qatar government then responded and said mm, 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 mm. this was the memo that was leaked online they said no we don't want to host the proposed business and investment forum why they have a few reasons number one the nation has other engagements qatar is going to be hosting a web summit during the period Number two, there is an absence between an agreement on investments for promotion and protection between Qatar and Nigeria. So they don't have any type of formal agreement. And lastly, the country's Minister of Commerce and Industry is not going to be around. He's going to be outside of the country during this upcoming visit and the period that Nigeria actually proposed. Nigerians are reacting to this news in very interesting ways and then we're going to dissect this a little bit more. t -talk says he needs investors probably per Zebra, but nobody takes you seriously if you haven't prepared for a conducive environment. And this is the part that I really want to go into and talk about. The fact that President Tumbu is going to be going out of the country again, and I get it. He's a businessman and he understands that for Nigeria to move forward, we do need to have foreign investment. But the problem is right now, I'll give you guys an example. I used to own a saloon. I was a saloon owner. And the environment of doing business, the ease of doing business in this country is very low. When you look at reports and these reports rank Nigeria on the ease of being business, it's very low. Let's take an example. Look at what happened with the airlines. These airlines for months, they could not withdraw and move out the money and the, the, the income they made in Nigeria because Nigerian government couldn't pay them the dollars. Money that they work for. Think of it. It's just literally like this. Money you've worked for. Money you've hustled for. Someone cannot pay you. Is in a bank sitting somewhere and you're looking and you're saying, I can't get access to my money. So when we're talking about ease of doing business, when we're talking about investment, what is the country doing to make sure that the country itself is good? You can try and strong arm, twist people, travel, do all of this. But when these investors come, are they going to be able to see profits on their investments? I had to close down my business because there was no, the, the light issue in our building was bad. We had constant water issues and we're saloon. It essentially means that the infrastructure just wasn't there. Nobody's going to be able to take you seriously. You can travel, you can do all these things, but Nigerian government, the commerce industry, the infrastructure, it needs to get better. Until it gets better, nothing is going to happen. There's not going to be able to be people who are going to want to invest in this. Nigeria, another person online said this, Nigeria is such a blessed country. Nations should be falling over each other to invest in this country. And I fully agree. Nigeria should be a hot cake. What you should know is according to the Chairman of Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Culture, Qatar is actually willing to reschedule this and hold a forum. Let's not forget that recently the Qatari government investment, they actually invested in a strategic deal with Genix Energy Firm, a natural gas company. This is to invest African gas in the market. Nigeria is not included though, but the Qatari government, they're not sidelining us. They're just going to be prioritizing a different type of um, gas investment. They're prioritizing gas reserve acquisition, liquefied natural gas and LPG products in several countries and Nigeria is included. But I want to find you here for me because people are really having conversation. Do you guys think the Qatar government had another reason why they rejected the proposal for the business forum? Because of course, they're going to be diplomatic. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Now, the federal government has a very interesting reaction to this memo that has been leaked. The deets are in the next video.